Hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about using augmented reality as a job aid in the field to help your users get started with a new product. First, I should probably say a bit about augmented reality. Augmented reality uses an app on a mobile device like this iPad here to overlay media such as an image or video or a 3D animation on top of what you're seeing through the camera on that device. The app can perform this overlay by using image recognition technology to match what the camera is seeing to a target image already stored on the system. So the target image is typically a picture in a magazine, or it could be the back of some hardware, or it could be this £10 note. Let me show you what I mean. So I hold my iPad over the target image, the application finds the target, and it's loaded a 3D animation to play over the top of the target. Notice it's trying to track the target image, and if I actually lose the target, then the overlay stops playing. As soon as I bring it back again, and it finds the target, the overlay loads again. There we are. Now this demo was just for fun, but having just completed editing a system setup training for Grass Valley's new GV Director product, and I did it here using Articulate Storyline, I realized that some of the content could be repurposed for field training and perhaps using the augmented reality application. So GV Director is designed for TV broadcasters as a live production center in a box. It has a separate server and that's used to process all the video and audio streams. And it has this clever control surface which uses a touchpad and a set of mappable buttons. And it's this control surface that I've been working on recently. So let's pretend that we're setting this up for the first time and we don't know what all the rear panel connections do. So let me set it up here and fire up the augmented reality and see if we can get some hints from the video I've created. So if I hold up the iPad to the rear panel connections here, then the augmented reality app will recognize the layout and begin to play the appropriate section from the system setup training. We have audio with this as well, if you can hear. We have an auto sensing power supply that works between 100 and 240 volts. Now I've configured the overlay, so if you double tap, then it puts it into full screen mode. And this means it's now not attached to the target image, so I can take the mobile device wherever I want and continue watching the video. I've got a second overlay on here that I've configured to give you access to the full tutorial video. And this is up on YouTube. So if I tap this section here, then it'll send me to YouTube. Now the touchpad on the control surface typically makes use of a lot of unique icons. So let me cable up the control surface and quickly show you a second example of a job aid using the augmented reality app, but this time with the touchpad. So I've cabled up the control surface now and I want to be guided around the settings. So I access my settings, I particularly want to go into the configuration and if I now hold my iPad in front of the touchpad it recognises the icon layout and begins to play a video explaining what all the settings do. You see I also have the double tap feature here and the ability to access the full tutorial video on YouTube. So you can see the augmented reality app can also make use of screens where there's unique content. I really think augmented reality offers an exciting new use of mobile technology for product training, either in the classroom, where it can be used to bring content to life, or in the field, where it can save the users searching for online training and bring the information right to their fingertips. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.